welcome to our vlog series on target operating model design. This is video one of five, preparing for your operating model design. So the first thing I want to speak about is some common pitfalls. Um, when you're working with a business to design the future, you'll find that a lot of people have preconceived ideas about what that business should look like. It's uh, such an easy thing to fall into. Now, whenever I've been involved with an operating model design, how I think the business should look in the future is and tends to be not what the customers really want. And time and time again, I'm constantly proved, uh, proven wrong. So what we want to try to do is work with the senior management team to challenge them on their thinking and really make sure any decision is data driven and is backed up with real customer insight. So we're going to talk about customers in the next video. What we also want to do is make sure we don't have change overload. We want to be really clear about what we're trying to achieve in that future world. So having a really um, well understood vision and strategy is so important. Clarity over that goal is what we need before we can start to design the operating model. Um, it will also help to clear the decks of irrelevant projects. We tend to see time and time again, a lot of investment tied up in projects that really don't align to the strategy or vision of an organization. That operating model design has to, otherwise you're not gonna achieve it. We also need to be clear about what governance we need. So who are the decision makers for the design process? We tend to advocate something called design authority, which takes ultimate responsibility of the decisions required for the design process. Governance is really important, but having too much of it will slow you down. So being pragmatic and agile through the governance process is really important. So pragmatism has to be key to any operating model project. So that's all I'm going to talk about for the moment in terms of prep. Um, join me next time and I'm going to talk a bit about understanding customers and stakeholders.